Hey all me again, so in this one we are going to be doing some homemade tomato soup so it does look like the Lee competitors um, I'm not going to say I've stole it from Tim because I haven't I'm quite impressed with how it actually, actually has turned out and I thought I might as well record it so I was making it for tea, might as well so yeah, go and um, check this one out so for the starty tomato soup I'm just going to cut up some onions and um, we're going to do this um, basically look really thin slices so just be careful when you're doing this. So we've got our three little slits kind of, I don't know if I'm on the camera, here and then you go, hopefully you guys can see this, just be careful when you're doing this please because knives are very sharp. So we've got our little kind of segments and then we just go down that is pretty much obviously your onion into little chunks and then just roughly chop the last bit as well so I've done four um, onions at the moment you can add more you can add less it's totally up to you what you want to do uh, it is your soup at the end of the day so I'm just getting these chopped and then I can get that into my little pan so I'm doing this on the hob for you guys I would normally throw it in my soup maker but I just thought I'd show you guys this so I will just get some butter in the pan try and get this raised up a little bit when it wants to uh, go right so our little pan is here when it stays still there we go so we're going to add in two tablespoons of butter or as much as you want get that whacked in that will just melt in there nicely so you can basically flavor this soup as much as you want Ooh, flicky flick and um, yeah you can flavor this as much as you want essentially um it is your soup so this is kind of your time to get the flavors in um so that's melting nicely so I'm just gonna get my onion and scrape the bits off the um, board into there first of all there's that one there's that one And they potentially add some like garlic or stuff in there later. If you want to do that, then that's cool. Let's just get the last bits of onion out. Get that in there. Get myself a wooden spoon. Give that a good kind of stir. a little bit and it will just be a case of getting the lid on and chopping the tomatoes also as well I had this on a high heat so get that turned down and um, to kind of a low heat and then put the lid on while you're chopping your tomatoes there we go so next thing we're going to do is prep our tomatoes so it's just a case of getting them in half and kind of getting that core out so we'll get that in quarters and then if you just stick them up like this where are you here's my little camera just be careful and just get that core out because that's going to be not very nice so just get them out and then we can add them in to our lovely little pot so i'll just come back to you guys once i've done that so i ended up putting in about 18 tomatoes in the end um obviously with the um the middle was out so it's just a case of i've had this on simmer for probably about an hour an hour and a half and that's reducing down quite nicely and um, if you do want to make more soup then 
you can do. I keep forgetting there's this tripod there. So I'm just going to add some salt into this. So I've got my lovely little salt shaker. Ta-da! So I'm just going to add that into it and just keep that reducing for now. Um, and then it'll be a case of once this is done, I can then blend them up. So that's pretty much getting there. So yeah, I'll come back to you when I'm going to blend it. So I'm just sizzling the last of it down before it goes into my blender. Um, you can have it chunky or you can have it quite smooth. Um, but I'll come back to you guys in a second once that's been poured into my blender. So this is all added into my blender now. So it's just going to be a case of me blitzing it up. And then we can taste test it and just make sure it's all seasoned correctly. So that's all blitzed up. So if you like chunky soups then you can go with that but with me I don't so let's get this all open oh wow that looks phenomenal so I've just rinsed my little I just rinsed my pan out that I put everything in so I'm just going to put this through my strainer hopefully this will get most of the bits out and just let that strain if you do want to make this thicker or thinner guys then obviously cook it for a bit longer if you want it thicker if not add then sorry if not then add a stock to it so i'm just going to get this through then put it back on the heat so i'll be back to you once it's all dished up so my soup is officially finished guys so i'm just going to get that all poured in and um, i'm going to see how much i get first look at that that's actually incredible i've tried it already and honestly it tastes absolutely magnificent so luckily for me it's made two portions so that's just enough but obviously if you want more then please double triple quadruple you name it you do as much as you need for your family but that is literally it guys for this so I'll just get this last little bit out and then we're sorted so yeah that's it so if you like this video guys don't like comment subscribe i'll see all you lovely people in the next episode see you later